Washington Rep. Nancy Pelosi, the Democratic leader, said Thursday that Rep. John Conyers Jr. should resign, after a woman who settled a sexual harassment claim against him took to television to say the longest-serving member of Congress had violated her body, repeatedly propositioned her for sex and asked her to touch his genitals. The Allegations Against Mr. Conyers, as we have learned more since Sunday, are serious, disappointing and very credible, Ms. Pelosi told reporters. It is very sad the brave women who came forward are owed justice. I pray for Congressman Conyers and his family and wish them well. However, she added, Congressman Conyers should resign. Minutes later, Speaker Paul D. Ryan of Wisconsin told reporters he agreed that Mr. Conyers should quit. Mr. Conyers, 88, a Democrat, was hospitalized overnight for issues likely related to stress, the congressman's attorney confirmed. Marion Brown, who received about $27,000 from Mr. Conyers in a 2015 settlement over her accusations, appeared on NBC's Today show described the congressman's conduct as clear-cut sexual harassment. He once invited her to a hotel room, stood before her in his underwear and asked her to touch his genitals, she said. Some of the things that he did, it was sexual harassment, Ms. Brown said violating my body, propositioning me, inviting me to hotels with the guise of discussing business, and then propositioning for sex. He just violated my body. He has touched me in different ways, and it was very uncomfortable and very unprofessional. The settlement, which was first reported by BuzzFeed News on Monday, brought the upheaval already rocking Hollywood, Silicon Valley and the media to the House of Representatives. The Senate had already been struggling with allegations that Senator Al Franken, Democrat of Minnesota, groped women before and during his tenure in the Senate. On Thursday, Stephanie Kemplin, 41, an Ohio Army veteran, told CNN that Mr. Franken groped her breast in 2003, while she was deployed in Kuwait and he was a comedian on a USO tour. She is the fifth woman in two weeks to accuse Mr. Franken of inappropriate touching. The Conyers controversy has led to a broader conversation about the Democratic Party's leadership and about changes to the party that began with the election of President Trump. Ms. Pelosi called for an ethics investigation last week almost as soon as the accusations emerged. But she offered an awkward defense of Mr. Conyers on NBC's Meet the Press on Sunday that earned her scathing reviews. Rep. Kathleen Rice, Democrat of New York, said Ms. Pelosi's equivocal comments set women back and, quite frankly, our party, back decades and called for Mr. Conyers to resign but several members of the Congressional Black Caucus have suggested that some may be condemning Mr. Conyers too quickly. Ms. Brown's allegations have led lawmakers to publicly feud over how to deal with a lawmaker who has been in the House since 1965. Several people close to Mr. Conyers have also said in recent days that he has been extremely sad and that the accusations have taken a toll of Mr. Conyers's health.